this is the last part of the player chasing with the spheres and then we're going to show you what's coming up next to finish this up let's make the spheres actually do something besides go on top of the player and not even collide so go ahead and grab all four spheres you can shift click and click the bottom one and we're going to add a component we're going to add another sphere collider if you're not used to dealing with colliders the first sphere collider that's just for triggers it doesn't detect any physics this new sphere collider you can see the radius is at 0.5 and that actually encompasses the sphere perfectly and that's going to actually detect physical collisions with other objects and to get the physics engine to even work we need to add a new component in rigid body without the rigid body there's no collision that's going to be happening use gravity clearly use gravity it's going to let the object fall and is kinematic makes it unable to be moved by the physics engine it'll det it'll collide with other objects but other objects cannot move it so click on use gravity and turn off is kinematic also go on your player make sure the box collider is is trigger is turned off the box collider default already encompasses the cube perfectly and you can see when we click play, everything seems to work perfectly fine. But looking at the way the sphere is colliding with the cube, it's, as a player, it's not going to be very difficult to get by it. It's barely pushing the player over. So let's grab all four spheres again, go down to the rigid body, and let's crank that mass up to 10. Now you can see these spheres are actually pushing the player off. If they're actually dangerous, this could be used as a trap in Zelda or any type of platformer, even first person shooter. And yes, you could probably see the problem that we have. The player doesn't move right when it gets collided with, but that's not what this tutorial is about. If you guys want to see that, go ahead and ask and I'll create that tutorial. But let's see what's coming up.